Maria Bartonen and I studied for my part two at the University of Strathclyde and I'm the winner of the 2021 RIBA Silver Medal. My project is called the Cloud Cooperative and envisions an alternative future of the internet where people have taken back control of their private data. Um, so basically I explored this during two semesters and during the first one I created this sort of um, bigger research document on the concept of surveillance capitalism which is basically a new internet-based market system where people's online activity is being monitored, recorded and sold to advertisers and even campaign managers and stuff like that so they can really sort of manipulate your behavior based based on the data that you accumulate through, through like your phone and your internet usage. So the second semester I started thinking about um, so if we were to take back control of our own data, what sort of new internet would be put in its place? And I was looking at this concept of the decentralized internet, which is basically instead of having these data centers owned by a few corporations, you would have data bouncing from laptop to laptop, from device to device, and it's all hosted by the people on their own devices. But the more I looked into that, um, it seems like it's still quite a ways off in the future and it's only being researched by a few select groups and it might take like 50 years for it to come around. For the actual architecture of the building that it was the biggest problem is like how do you take something that's so so conceptual like for example the cloud it's made to seem as if it's spaceless and if it's just oh it's just somewhere that I put my data and it's somewhere out there who knows what happens to it. So taking that and having it become very sort of uh, sensory and to have people sort of see the actual servers and a big part of this was sort of having a very obvious impact of like the servers heating things so the idea was to plug it into this sort of um, outdoor spa and outdoor bath area where your data was heating the water that you would swim in. There's been lots of news about like these miniature data centers popping up all around the Nordic countries because it's the ideal environment for sort of passively cooling these centers. So I feel like as a Nordic person, you're more aware of these data centers, but there are a bunch in Scotland and in the UK, but they're not very talked about and they're just sort of popping up here and there. But in the Nordic countries, you have more of a discussion about how can we use the space taken up by these data centers to give back to communities and how can the byproduct heat as well can be actually used to heat to plug into our existing district heating networks whereas Scotland and the UK are maybe a bit behind on that but that was another part of the proposal is sort of trying to speed up these district heating and sustainable sort of energy sources as well and plugging it all into one system. The aspect of this project that I would like to take forward is more researching about this legislation and sort of the impacts of the information technology on on our earth as well because that's that's pretty huge. I think it's so important to sort of acknowledge these um, far in the future projects that are exploring very sort of conceptual versions of our future uh, things like ethics and sort of people's rights and also sustainability. Instead of having very physical buildings that have already been built that are very set, set in the present, looking at very conceptual things instead. And I think that's what architecture school is there for as well, is sort of broadening your horizons before you go into practice.